Hi, this is Crystal Schoenbrunn with the Pacific Home Group, real estate consultants and realtor team. Today I'm going to be going over what exactly does it cost to buy a house? What fees are involved? What closing costs are involved? Um, most home buyers have no idea until they go into it. So I'm going to go over some of the most common fees or costs that you see when buying your new home. Let's get to it. Before we do, be sure you like and subscribe our channel. We have lots of great tips and tricks for buyers, sellers, and investors, as well as property tours and lifestyle videos. So um, let's have at it. So you're thinking about buying a home and you're wondering, well, how much money exactly do I need to buy a house? What's the cost? Um, if you haven't done it before or it's been a long time, uh, it's important to know what types of fees or closing costs to expect when you're buying your new home. So I'm gonna go through some of the most common ones. Um, the first one, obviously, as a buyer, would be your down payment. So whether it's five, 10, 20%, you're obviously gonna need to account for your down payment uh, since that's gonna be a requirement of your loan when buying your house. It's usually the largest amount of money, um, but it's definitely essential when you wanna buy. Now, at least in the state of California, there's gonna be two expenses that you would expect to pay during the escrow. And those would be your home inspection or any other inspections you wanna do on the house, as well as the appraisal, which is gonna be a requirement of your lender if you're getting a loan. So both of those items will come up. Uh, they're both a few hundred dollars and that's to be expected during the escrow. Now at the close of escrow, there's gonna be some additional items that you're gonna to need to be prepared for. One of them would be your closing costs. Typically, escrow, um, as far as the escrow fees, the buyer and the seller split escrow equally. As far as title insurance, the seller pays for that, so you wouldn't have to worry about that, which is great. Other fees would involve any of your lender costs, and your lender should disclose to you what those are when they give you your good faith estimate. Also, what might be a requirement would be any prepays that may be required by the lender. Whereas certain lenders will require that you pay in advance one year of your homeowner's insurance or maybe advance HOA dues, something that they'll actually require in advance. And every lender is a little different, so it's going to just depend on what that particular lender requires. So I hope that helps as far as getting a better understanding of the fees to, involve, to be involved when you're buying a house. It's not just the down payment. So make sure you're ready and you're on it and you're prepared when it comes time to buy your house. Hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon.